All right, YouTube. Hey, Josh here at Attica Lumber Company. Check this one out right here. 40 by 40, 12 feet tall. Another post frame building built by Attica Lumber. But in this video, let's talk a little bit about this setup right here. And then I'll give you actually a little commentary on the lumber mark and then also overhead doors. Okay, so let's get into this right here. You can see three foot wainscot there. And again, 12 feet tall at the eave. Now, if you're thinking about building something, look at that color right there. Let me get it in the sun for you so you can see this. Yeah, let me get over here a little bit. But you can see actually a beautiful sight. You see, we tamped this down here, and I'll walk in here in a few minutes here, and I'll share with you. We got our concrete gate set up on this, but actually five inches, four and one stone here. Look how beautiful this is. And then we tamp that down. Look how level that is. All right. So again, three foot wainscot right there. Now that's actually charcoal. And then actually that's a tan. So kind of give you some ideas there. Now that's actually a thermotrude door there, entry door. All right. And you see our traditional one foot overhang. All right. But look at this. I'm going to share with you the concrete grade on that. See how we chalk this off right here? See that orange mark? right there on the post so we tamp that down right there with that little thing all right and then that sets up our concrete grade all right but so look at this site isn't this beautiful right here nice flat really turned out nice here again five inch 401 mix and actually that's what we use you can see it's a sandy mix there see that sandy mix but that's what we use to backfill these posts right here again we use a lot utilize a three-ply perma column on this again 40 by 40 if you've been following along here, sometimes we use a six by six on smaller buildings. We might use a four by six for like an intermediate post, but we always put the six by six on the corner posts. But typically you see a lot of these videos, three ply laminate columns, but if you go through the archive, we've used wet set brackets before and also concrete perma columns, okay? Again, these three ply laminated columns are 30% stronger than a six by six. Again, Southern Yellow Pine glued, finger jointed, laminated together there. You see treated at the bottom. See that pressure point there? at a pressure point there, and then also pressure point up top there as well. And now why are they, because a six by six, you know, that's a natural piece of lumber, a four by six, okay? That's known to twist, it is. I mean, that's lumber. It'll twist, turn on you. But when you artificially splice together two by sixes, that actually keeps its form, keeps it more truer. If that's a word, truer? Well, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. All right, so that's why we like to utilize three ply laminated columns. You can see we use a two by 10 yellow pine, top beam header up there. And again, we use Douglas fir or yellow pine. Again, it's all relative to where you're at in the world or the country or the United States. Again, both are good hardwood species there, but we like yellow pine. We got our yellow pine down south. All right. And again, you can see how we stagger those RSS bolts. Again, we utilize an R1 hurricane tie. Again, this project is in Seneca County, about 45 miles south of Lake Erie. So you know, kind of give you some perspective. Lake Erie is one of the great lakes, so a lot of wind gusts down here in Ohio. All right, so we definitely got to put our H1 hurricane ties up there. Again, four foot on center truss spacing there. All right, and again, that's a 1650 MSR machine stress rated truss there. You can see two by six bottom, and then also a two by six top cord. And we also use vapor barrier on this. If you've been following along, we either use a drip stop, which comes pre-applied to the underneath of the metal or we'll use a vapor barrier. Now, why would you use a vapor barrier versus strip stop? Well, I guess it just depends on kind of what you want to do. Both serve the same kind of purpose and so forth. Um, so it all depends on your budget and what you're looking to do, but both will obviously provide good condensation, moisture control. And you see we're laying our purlins up flat here. All right, and that's the reason why we do four foot on center. We just think more lumber, more wood, more trusses versus eight foot, nine foot, 10 foot, 11, 12 foot on center. I know a lot of people do it the other way and you can do that and there's nothing wrong with that, but you're gonna have to put your purlins on edge. Now, when we do four foot on center, we can lay them flat Okay, so as, as a laborer, as a worker, it's a lot easier to screw in to that. All right, you're hitting a bigger circumference area when they're flat versus on edge. So that's just what we like to do. That's our preference. And then two by six wall girts, again, 30 inches. We've been following along. We utilize a two by four, two feet apart, or we'll utilize a two by six, 30 inches apart. All right, now to give you an idea as far as overhead doors now, there was actually COVID just kind of jammed up the supply system, but a lot of issues as far as China um, getting the hardware components. Again, 16 by 10 there, 12 feet at the sidewall height. So these things, it's tougher to get a door. I tell you, even big operator, big overhead door companies that have a lot of inventory, um, they'll have the nine by eight, eight by eights, the standard. 
but to get a little bit outside of the, the ballpark, a lot of these doors are three to six months. So that's the issue right there as far as overhead doors. So if you're out in the market DIY, you're probably experiencing that. That's the issue right there. Now, as far as the lumber market, it's actually regressed a little bit. Just to, not to bore you with the extreme detail here, but pre-COVID it was 395 and it jacked up to 1800 board square foot. Now this is for SBF, a truckload of Western SBF lumber. And now it's settled down about 900. So where do I think this is gonna go? Well, I think actually, if you think about the market so far, there's still a lot of track builders that have made commitments and they got homes they gotta build. So I think we're probably gonna sit in this ballpark 900, maybe regress just a little bit, uh, but I don't think we're gonna get that much action um, on the downward side because there's still a lot of commitments, projects that track builders gotta build there. Okay, but a 40 by 40, 12, that hopefully you've been checking that out as I been talking here. So all comments always welcome. Until the next one, keep it locked, keep it loaded right here, Attica Lumber or AtticaLumber.com.